Hiram Kasten, a comic actor known for his appearances on popular TV shows like Seinfeld, Curb Your Enthusiasm, and Saved by the Bell, passed away at the age of 71. His death, which followed a battle with prostate cancer and other health issues, was announced on his Facebook page. Kasten died in the arms of his wife, Diana Kisiel Kastenbaum, at their home in Batavia, New York, only hours after their 38th wedding anniversary. Kasten's obituary noted his struggles with multiple ailments, including prostate cancer and Crohn's disease, over the past seven years. Despite his health challenges, Kasten remained surrounded by his loved ones until his final moments. He is remembered not only for his career in show business but also for his devotion to his family. Kasten's career in comedy began on the New York City comedy circuit, where he became a regular at renowned clubs such as the Comic Strip, The Improv, The Comedy Cellar, Caroline's, and Dangerfields. His breakthrough came when Jerry Seinfeld, who was then serving as a master of ceremonies at The Comic Strip, passed him on his first audition. This led to a 45-year friendship between Kasten and Seinfeld. Kasten also developed friendships with other notable comedians, including Michael Richards, Paul Reiser, Larry Miller, and Mark Schiff. On television, Kasten made a mark with his appearances in a variety of sitcoms throughout the 1990s and early 2000s. He appeared in three episodes of Seinfeld during 1993 to 1994, portraying Michael, a colleague of Elaine Benes, played by Julia Louis-Dreyfus. His other TV credits include roles on Saved by the Bell, The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, Cybill, Mad About You, Everybody Loves Raymond, Sabrina the Teenage Witch, My Wife and Kids, and Seventh Heaven. Kasten also performed on cruise ships and had a show in Las Vegas at the desert and called The Rat Pack is Back. Despite his success in show business, Kasten's obituary emphasizes that his most fulfilling role was as a family man. He cherished his time with his wife and daughter, Millicent Jade Kastenbaum, who is an assistant district attorney. Kasten's pride in his daughter's achievements was a significant source of joy in his life. In 2017, Kasten's health began to decline, and he stepped back from performing and actively pursuing his career. It was only in the last six months of his life that he started sharing the terminal nature of his illness with friends. During this period, Kasten's comedy and artistic community rallied around him, providing support and companionship. Friends visited him in Batavia, and late-night Zoom meetings kept him connected to his peers on both coasts. According to his wife, these interactions prolonged his life by at least two months, allowing him to continue laughing and finding joy despite his illness. Kasten's funeral services will be held at Schwartz Brothers Jeffers Memorial Chapel in Forest Hills, New York, with the date and time to be announced. Additionally, a memorial service will take place in Los Angeles later this summer. Kasten is survived by his wife Diana, daughter Millicent Jade, brother-in-law Kevin John Kissiel, several loving nieces and nephews, their children, and wonderful cousins on both sides of the family. In lieu of flowers, Kasten's family has requested that memorial tributes be made in the form of charitable donations to either Crossroads House or the Entertainment Community Fund, formerly the Actors Fund. These organizations reflect Kasten's connection to his community and his enduring legacy in the world of entertainment. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more updates on celebrity deaths and news updates.